Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimet Soft Research Company and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make TSM polygons using um, ArcGIS and how to make um, TSM weights um, using this tool. So first of all, you for sure have some points um, that you want to make these um, TSM weights for them and um, you know, you may know that uh, this is used in uh, weighted, um, in um, calculating weighted average. Uh, so that's why we're doing that. So we have these points. Uh, these are uh, my points for my piezometer um, like um, stations in my study area. And I want to see um, how are the weights for uh, each of these points in the averaging uh, the you know total head, for example, or whatever else you're um, studying. So, first you want to uh, convert this Excel file to DBF as we all know. Um, GIS um, most of the time doesn't understand uh, the um, X, uh, XLS files and it's better to convert them to DBF so that uh, a GIS can read it. Here you want to uh, convert it to DBF. Here I just open my file containing the points. Uh, I have it right there. Uh, okay, so that's my points. After it's opened, I just right click on that and click on display XY data. So then it's X field for XUTM and Y field for YUTM, of course. And the coordinate system I uh, input coordinates, it's unknown, an unknown coordinate system. So you should go to edit and um, click on WGS 1984 UTM zone 40. And of course, for my study area and in any other um, like zone you're working with, you should first understand the coordinate system and then um, you know select it. Click OK and then OK so that your points are shown um, in the display window. So that's my points in my study area. Here I want to make the TSN polygons. So I right go to the search. Here I search TSN and here it comes create TSN polygons in analysis uh, toolbox. I just click on that. And that's the comment window opened. Input feature uh, for sure will be my points. Then the output feature class. So here is a thing. Um, because of some errors, I um, used to get uh, in. Um, running this command I understood that if I change this output feature class to my desired um, output location it will just um, make some errors and it doesn't give me the shape area so in this um, and so for this reason I don't change that and then I will just export it to my desired um, location so I just uh, put it um, like in default and in the output fields I just need the only um, you know feature ID so that's it and click OK
and that's it. My um, TSM polygons are now made. Um, and if you right click on that and click on open attribute table, you will see the shape area, the thing you want, and uh, um, weightening um, problem. So that's it. And now I just export it to my desired location in order to have it um, available. Um, all features and this layer's source data and the output will be here. Um, the, you know, so that's here, export output, whatever. Save it and okay. Mm, do you want to add the exported data? Yes, exported data will be added. And I just removed that. So here, um, it's the polygons and like the triangles uh, for um, this display area you can see but you don't want that you want to um, this um, polygons to be clipped to your study area so I simply add my study area I just add my shape file here and then uh, I want to clip that. So I just go to the search and uh, write clip. So here you can see some tools are um, with exactly the clip um, name shown up. Uh, you don't want the data management because if you click on that, you will see that it wants the raster. So you're just working with some features. It's not a raster. A raster is something if you zoom in, you can see the pixels. So if you don't have any pixels here, it's a like cue that um, you don't have any raster, you have a feature. So uh, you just go to clip analysis and if you read that, it says extracts input features that overlap the clip area, I think. So I just clip on that. I'm sorry, I don't want to clip on the... Uh, description I just click on uh, the command itself and uh, it's opened input features will of course be the TSM polygons and clip features will be my study area the output features class will not be uh, changed because of the thing I just mentioned uh, earlier and I click on ok So that's uh, my um, TSM polygons are now clipped to my desired study area. Now, if you right click on that and open attribute table in this um, field, you can see the shape area. So the um, process you want to go through in order to have the weights for each um, piezometer is that you just divide this shape area to your total shape area so is um, it is here it's found here this is your total um, area of course it is in um, kilometers um, squared kilometers and this is in squared meters so you just want to notice that you will uh, go to divide each uh, cell to your total um, area and then this would be the weight of each piezometer and that's the number you want to use in your weighted averaging so that's it for today's video and I hope you all learned something new. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumb up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.